is Tuesday. According to Luciano, this week's task is for those of us who aren't American, was to make the entire video in only one take. I tried that, but I only came up with like 18 takes and I've only spoken for like 25 seconds and I'm really really tired because of daylight savings time and I don't have much time to do this so maybe in the next video okay basically the topic this week is supposed to be bullying and although I haven't been bullied that much like personally I have been called very mean names and and people have not been really subtle to show that they don't like me. I told this guy I didn't like to go clubbing and he looked at me as if I told him I have a contagious disease or something. What really bothers me is when someone sees one aspect of one quality of all the qualities that make the person who they are and just by what that specific quality they already think they know all the negative aspects and they attribute all the negative aspects they know of that quality to that person. And that is just ignorance. I really find that disgusting. I mean, in school we have this model UN thing, which is basically we, we prepare ourselves during one semester for a mock United Nations meeting. Last semester I represented Pakistan and last Saturday it was Afghanistan. And I just spent like the first half of my Saturday yelling at people who think that all Muslims are extremists. And people started getting really mad at me because xenophobia wasn't really the main topic of the meeting. But I noticed from watching other It Gets Better videos other than Richard's, people mention a lot how high school was difficult for them. At least and I think it really is getting better. In my school there are more teenagers than there normally are in Brazilian schools and some of which are openly gay and at least like from observing them. I think that not only are they accepting it very well, people don't seem to mind at all. What I can tell from the gay people at my school is that they have a little bit more insecurities than other people but they find out um, a way to express that insecurities and transform it into something awesome like fashion or arts or debating or writing better or something and they just pwn everybody else and people really look up to them and admire them and respect them and from what i'm observing and from what i can hope i really believe that people are becoming more culturally tolerant and more respective regarding sexuality and religion and etc. A book called Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist for many reasons is my favorite book which movie is, answering Kyle's question, my favorite movie? Not because I think it's a masterpiece or anything, but because of what it's worth to me and the impact it caused on my life. And one of the two people who wrote the book is gay, and he is definitely one of my favorite writers of all time. His name is David Levithan, you may know him because he wrote this. And this is the only reason I discovered John Green and therefore discovered Nerd Viteria. Katie asked what our favorite band was. Above everything is Blink-182, but I like a lot of different bands. According to Last FM, I like rock, indie, alternative, pop, and punk rock. We all to ask my questions. Um, what is the thing you're not particularly good at that people usually are good at, but you're not? For me, it would definitely be putting on nail polish by myself. I have friends who can like draw on their nails but see I think that is all. Um, wear purple tomorrow please. I forgot that my friend asked me to say hi to her. Hi Carol, thank you for drawing on my notebook every day. I love you. See? <laughs>